Wow. Okay, I know what you guys are saying. <laughs> He's back. Yeah, right. Anyways, I wanted to touch base on something. This um, Gigabyte ITX motherboard, I've been using it now on a few different systems. I mean, it impressed me so much. I just kind of just fell in love with the thing. It, it's it, it's able to be used with just about any type of water cooling system, any type of air fan solution you want to use, as long as the case will hold it. I mean, it, the whole the whole thing about it is just great. So what I want to do first is go over some of the. Um, I haven't opened it yet, but we're gonna open it now. So what we have is a box, an empty box, with our I really, really do like this. I've used it in my dual system for my streaming rig, that, that dual system that I did a little video on, and on a Cooler Master NR200 case, the Mini ITX case. I like the back plating on it. It's basically what they would call, I guess it's motherboard armor. Um, let's set this aside for one second. And it doesn't come with a whole ton of stuff. It comes with um, it comes with your antennae, your antennae for the uh, Wi-Fi, and it comes with some thermal tape, which is always nice. And it comes with a nice little, actually, it's a nice little aluminum. I don't know, I don't, I, I usually stick these on my wet bench just for like, you know, the old race car days when you stick all your like Edelbrock and Holly four barrel stickers all over the car. But anyways, um, it comes with a, um, a SATA cable, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, a SATA cable, it has the uh, 90 degree on one end and the, um, the straight plug on the other. Um, actually, it comes with two, so that's always a good thing. One of them straight plugs on both ends, and the other one's 90 degree. And what is this? Oh, and it comes with a, looks like an RGB. To be honest with you, I haven't even opened any of them yet. It's, it's a four pin, so it's RGB. That's right, because this board doesn't have ARGB, and they're still giving these um, things out. And it comes with a fairly decent manual. If you've built a PC before, it's more than likely you're not going to need it anyways. So I guess we can say we can throw this stuff back in there for another day. And we'll close this box up okay and we can go over the specs on this okay and one of the things I really did like about this um, I hope there's not too much light let me try to move this light out of the way sometimes too much light isn't good I know they say it is but it ain't okay so one of the things I did like about this board is the features. If you can actually look at how thick of the PC, look at how thick of the PCB is on this. Yes, eight layers, and from what I gather, which is two layers more than what you get with your average board, and it's got the two layers of copper I think one at minimum two but first let me run you over the specs on this it'll take any Ryzen chip series including the the, the, the um, 5000 series with the integrated graphics the G chip um, it takes dual channel DDR4 RAM ECC 
unbuffed. It's two channel. You do only get two slots to put it in. Um, oh, by the way, the, the gra integrated graphics, it is the um, last generation of Radeon, but it's boosted up and come to find out that they are coming out with the new iDNA 2, the, the newest version for, for the newer chips that are coming out, which is really supposed to be like, I think, 30, 40% faster. But from what I can tell you on my streaming rig, I've ran... I've ran Halo, I've ran Battlefield 5, and I've run them all in high settings and gotten 90 FPS in one of them, and in medium settings, 113 on Battlefield, which was pretty impressive for just running integrated graphics. Okay, so back on to some of the uh, other things. It has an eight phase digital VRAM solution with power IR stage. Um, it has advanced thermal design with extended multi layer heat sink. Okay, so we have already talked a little about that. It has dual ultra MVMV MVME 4.030X. 4M.2, you know, thermal guide, all that good stuff. It has Intel Wi-Fi 6, um, which it also has the ALC 1220VB enhanced um, sound, audio, capacitors. They're all good. They're very good Japanese capacitors. Uh, Intel. It has the Intel LAN. I'm pretty sure it's one gig. I'm pretty sure it's one gig. So that that's not bad at all. Uh, one gig speed. Uh, I, RG, it comes with the RGB Fusion, which I rarely ever use because I find that a lot of that um, a RGB or ARGB software really does bog down your your system. It, it it's I've seen a video that one of the big guys did I think it was um, not Linus it was Jay and I think he was getting like he installed it he was like 19 percent of his of his um, processing power that's kind of atrocious um, it has smart fan feature which you know Five feature, which is a multi-sensor hybrid fan header. Uh, you know, it has along with it rear USB 3.1 Type C. So we have that, and I'm really looking forward to the Thunderbolt. We also have a Q flash. So basically, in this where you see the little white USB. You can put your thumb drive in there, insert some power to the board. You don't need a memory, a graphics card, a CPU, anything. Um, I've seen some people say you can just use the 24 or use the 24 and the 8. I guess it depends on the board. I always put the 24 and the 8. You press this in, you hold it for a few seconds, release it, the light starts blinking, walk away for five minutes, could be a little sh less, could be a little more. Don't take my word for it. Check it yourself. When it stops blinking, I normally wait about another 15 minutes. And then I unplug it and I know my BIOS have been flashed. Very easy. You just go over to the Gigabyte website to the support page. You find your latest BIOS version. You download that zip folder or whatever if you're using a RAW folder. I usually create another folder on the desktop. I unzip it to that folder. Then I go in there and I pull the little flash file out. And every board runs different. This one I think you, I'm pretty sure it's all in cap, all in lowercase. It would be gigabyte dot ROM. Some of it could be gigabyte dot 
been. So that's something you have to read up on. It comes with two HDMI and one display. I've used mine with the G chip in it, the integrated graphics, and all of them work. I didn't see much of a difference in video performance between any of them, but I, I really wasn't getting that that deep into it. It has your two antennae, and then it has your 3.0 USBs. You have three of those. It has standard sound. There's no digital sound on this. They had to cut corners somewhere. As well as that's why probably probably it doesn't have I would have liked to seen it is an adapter on the board to be able to put a um, a front panel USB C but you can't have everything as well as it has two you have your CPU fan over here system fan down over here and then you have your four pin RGB over here it has four SATAs. It has a nice little layout all color coded for where your power switch, your LED switch, everything else goes. Okay. So, other than that, it has the uh, integrated base IO shield. I call it IO armor, rear armor, motherboard armor, and the Q flash. So that's going to about be it. I, I, I've got to say, and it's heavy. You can feel the sturdiness. What I like about it is you have so much room in here. I had the ASRock. I had to get rid of it. I had an ASRock i570, um, an ITX570, and it was a nice board. Don't get me wrong, but their heat sinks are just abnormally. Oh my God. <laughs> Azrock, please find another way. Find something else to do with them. Great board, but those heat sinks are atrocious. Okay, so you got your two 288 um, dim pin, pin dims, big, <laughs> and it has great VRAM. Nice, clean, lined up. Well, these are the chokes. The VRAM is in back here under the heat shield, and that's pretty much about it. It's a board that goes for around 100. I would say you can find it on sale between 189 and $229. Normal price is going to be around 220 bucks, somewhere around there. But it's worth every penny if you're looking for a quality board. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up here. And then I'm going to do a little bit more on this video where I install the M.2, the memory, and the CPU. Right now, we're not going to do that because I got to run. I got something I got to go do. So everybody, have a great day. Don't forget to give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. Thanks so much.